So hey guys, it is Friday, May 16, 2014. It's the first time I ever did a video in my life on my birthday. So I want to save this for records, you know, for the future. And I want to thank all my friends, my subs, everybody on my Facebook wall that they, they, they gave me a big happy birthday. It was awesome. Uh, Big, big, I'll make a couple of shout outs to whoever said happy birthday. So, I got my bro Josh, Striker Hero Camo, said happy birthday. Thank you, brother. And I did get uh, another friend of mine, Denny, Dennis, Dennis Lonval, is a local friend. Thank you, brother. And I did get my, God bless, my bro, W Drums, Danny Watts. If you're watching, I know you're watching every time. So thanks so much, brother, for the good birthday wishes. And who else I got on there? Marcello B. Marcello B. That's a bro from close by. Donnie Herman. Thank you so much, bro. Say hi to Paul for me because he forgot somehow. Ethan William. Eric Moore. That's another one of my bro. Thanks, Ethan. Uh, Josh. Yeah. Alan, Alan Tyler Dodson, if you're watching, bro, I know you watch my stuff. Thank you so much. Happy to be making this video. Shout outs. Dero De Rosier, that's a bro. He's 45 minutes away from me. I never actually met him, but it's fun to have some local fans. And now nah, I'm afraid to walk down the street. I'm not that big yet. But hey. I got all these birthday wishes. Did I forget anybody? Oh yeah, the first one who ever wished me a happy birthday was my bro Connor Bishop up from the land down under, I mean down uh, in Australia because it was my birthday on Thursday. So I was saying to him if I would fly down to Australia, I would uh, have two birthdays in a row. So very early, he wished me a happy birthday. Thank you, Connor. Anyways, and the team of the day of my birthday today, and I am staying home and it is 7 p.m., but I got stuff planned for tomorrow. Uh, and uh, the whole story is uh, a couple of weeks, maybe a week ago, I have a friend of mine, a local friend who is a very talented artist and he paints uh, figurines, Warhammer figurines, like if you don't know where, what Warhammer is or Dungeon and Dragon and a bunch of other stuff, and the figurines. He is so talented and I asked him about a week ago and I posted some pictures on my Facebook and uh, to it, you could see like the upgrade, how he worked and everything and the details he put in and the work he did quite amazing and he gave it today for my birthday and he didn't know it was my birthday so quite a coincidence i was so happy so thankful for him we got other projects so uh i'm planning on doing a grilla drilla version and he's gonna input like more pieces in there and everything and we're gonna change it just like my bro y rock does some cool upgrades painting and sculptures and stuff but my friend here a local friend he he paints like a like a god I'm sorry but it's amazing to see him paint every time I walk in the store I look at him paint on the Warhammer figurines and I brought him a brand new free ranger from the store next door and I just gave it to him and said go your own way and feel free I only told him I said I want it to be a phoenix it has to be a phoenix based on a phoenix so he looked through some Warhammer, Warhammer books and other figurines and have and stuff and and he really focused on it and I want to show it to you so I'm gonna drop the camera so here it is that's the coolest looking variant I ever had in my whole life he worked a whole week and it was I wish I had that turntable that Dut Rank has, but if you, you there's you have to stare at it for 20 minutes to see all the details he put it. It is a priceless 
I I bought some crazy glue to uh, I want to rebox it. I saved the box and everything. I want to rebox it in perfect mint condition. Make it look like it was bought because I don't want the paint to come off or nobody to touch it. I'm actually very careful. I've been holding it like the bottom like this all day, but wow. If I can describe everything he did on here. Uh, the beak, we actually uh, saw this big, uh, how can I say it? This griffin or something on a Warhammer box and I really like the beak and I based it on it and he nailed it. He just painted that beak like exactly like that creature on the box. Wait, I want the camera to focus. Focus. There's way too many details. Look, look, he even did the cord on the arms and everything. Look at the nails, look at the nails. Look, he told me that the, he needed a uh, jade colored, a jade colored weapon, because jade doesn't burn. So he made him like that. Look at his nails on his hands. Look at that. Look at the detail. And the blade he painted, it looks used. It's so awesome. I just wanna show the hands. The hands, they just, come on, focus in, baby. The hands are just so well made. The way he painted it, it looks like a real, real, all the detail and the fire. Fire he did, burning everything all the way up to him and you can see a bunch of flames. Look at the face, wait, wait, wait. Look at the face, all the detail he did. Oh yeah, finally focused in. Look at the armor, all that gold he painted. All red inside the gold, it's just so priceless. Now I wanted to film this because I'm gonna put it in the box so I won't be able to flip it over. Again, I'm just gonna look. Look at all the details and the armor he did. I, I, I really want to look at the side of the neck. Every single detail. He did such a priceless job. I can't wait for him to make me another one. Look at the hair he did like there. All green, all jade I mean. Jade colored. It's just so amazing. I wish he was the real variant creator guy. But I put it all in his hand and he came out more amazing than he was supposed to. I can't believe the job he did. Thank you so much. I know you'll be watching this video. Comment if you want. All I wanted to know is at the end of this video, guys, how much do you think a figurine like that painted by a true artist would be worth but I'm not gonna sell that that's a priceless piece it was my birthday present my 30 my 34 year old birthday yeah I'm 34 old man that's just amazing I just keep looking at it over and over I, I don't really want to put it in a box but I want to make it look mint and priceless. I don't want to get dust to get on it. Look at the weapons, man. Look at all the details he did. He, <laughs> it's funny how he, he never missed. I don't see a smudge. I don't see anything. That armor. Oh, my God. Look at the detail, man. So. So, so, so amazing. A hundred times better than the real thing. So, Fire Phoenix Free Ranger is born. He was in my mind, but he is born. My friend made it for me. I don't know how many times I got to flip him over for you guys to see all the details and everything. But, anyways, I got to stop it there. There's so much. I can't wait to see what other projects we can come up to, come up with, I mean, and, uh, See if he's interested of uh, doing this on a regular basis. Maybe, maybe pay him. I want to pay him off with Warhammer figurines, but maybe some real money. I don't know. I, I'm just, 
asking for you guys what do you think this would be worth amazing so guys thanks for watching that was my fire phoenix free ranger video